Hi guys, um, I'm here with a tutorial. It's not about the eyes today, it's about the face makeup and how I do my face makeup step by step. Um, three whole people requested this and I am willing to oblige. Um, so thank you for asking me to do uh, makeup. It's very, very nice of you. Um, I really appreciate you guys watching the, the makeup videos quite a bit actually uh, since that's what I started doing, <laughs> started out with. Um, so this is my foundation routine and concealer routine and basically all the other stuff that I do, the contouring, the blush, the highlighting, everything is going to be in this video. Um, I'm using all but one, everything except this, my contour is drugstore. So let me just run through it really quick so you'll know what I'm using. All right, Rimmel Lasting Finish. Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch Highlighter Concealer. Physicians Formula Youthful Wear Illuminating Finish Powder. And NYX Rouge Cream Blush in Glow. Oh, and the e.l.f. Uh, Studio uh, Blush in Giddy Gold. So for the most part, it's pretty cheap. And um, yeah, I hope that you like this. Thank you again, again, again for um, requesting a makeup video. Uh, it means the world to me that uh, you would ask me um, to do a tutorial. Um, so thanks, guys. Bye. All right, for my foundation application, what I usually do is, um, first of all, I wash my face um, and exfoliate, and then I apply my moisturizer and. I usually use the Shiseido Pureness Moisturizer, which is a mattifying lotion. It's a fantastic product, but it is a little um, expensive <laughs> for sure. Let's kind of go around. Let that dry down for a second. Okay, now I'm going to use my Rimmel Lasting Finish Foundation. I really like it a lot. Um, it would be really good for like any skin tone really because it is hydrating, but um, I feel with just a little bit of powder it'll work on oily skin too. I like it a lot. And I have very oily skin. So I'm going to put a little bit on the back of my hand, just like that. I'm going to take a clean finger. I'm going to dot it around the face. The great thing about this foundation is that it doesn't set really fast, like Revlon Color Stay or other long wearing foundations. Okay, now I'm going to take the e.l.f. powder brush, which is a flat top brush like this. Very, very nice brush. You can also use a foundation brush if you like. Now there are two different ways to, to me anyways, to apply um, a liquid foundation with a flat brush like this. One, you can stipple and that will give you the most coverage. Or you can blend like this, which will give you a more natural finish. Take a little bit more on the back of my hand and put some down my neck, just a little bit. Okay. 
And there's your foundation. You can leave it like this and powder it if you want to, but if you need a little more coverage, here's what we're going to do. Okay, um, I got to cut in really quick. Um, I just uh, shot that tutorial, took a nap, and now I'm editing, but I got to cut in really quick when it comes to a concealer with this kind of a brush on it. Okay, I'm going to apply it directly to my face, all right? Um, but if you have acne prone skin or if you have really bad acne, do not take this and put it on your um, blemishes because you're just going to get bacteria in here. Even if your face is clean, you're just going to get bacteria in the brush and you're going to contaminate the whole product. So basically what you want to do is twist it, paint some on the back of your hand, and then take another brush and go ahead and um, do what I'm about to do. All right? All right. Back to your regularly scheduled video. Bye, guys. I'm going to take my Maybelline Dreamly Retouch um, concealer slash highlighter, click it a few times, and I'm going to dot around the face where I have anything that I want to cover up, including under the eyes. I'm going to take a blending brush like this one right here that's a little bit domed, as you can see, and I'm going to bounce that off of my face to get the most coverage. You have some redness on the cheeks and you want to get rid of it, just go ahead and paint a little bit more on and spread that around with your brush. You can also use a finger if you like. And there's concealer. Now when it comes to mineral foundation, I do like to put my concealer on before I put on the mineral foundation. Um, I don't know why, but when it, uh, it's a liquid, when it's a liquid foundation like this, put that on first and then go over anything that you want to cover up with your concealer. That's just how I do it. I don't know why. So next up is contouring, which is something that I do every single day. And I'm going to be using my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. And I'm going to take a flat paddle brush like this from EcoTools. So you can place the color like that from the top of the ear to the corner of the mouth. And then you can take it to the side like this and kind of blend it. So that's what I'm going to do. Wipe the brush off 
and then you start blending. I also like to get the temples up onto the forehead, into the hairline, because it slenderizes the face. And then if you want to, you can take it along the jawline. Okay, the next thing I'm going to apply is my setting powder. I'm going to be using the Physician's Formula Youthful Wear Pressed Powder in trans the Translucent Illuminating Finish, not the matte one. And this is just going to set everything. And I'm going to be using a nice fluffy brush for that. Just through the center of the face. And now for some finishing touches, I'm going to use a highlighter and a blush. Um, as always, like I usually do, I'm going to be using my e.l.f. Gotta Glow. Actually, you know what? No. No, I'm not. Changing my mind. I'm going crazy today. Because I'm immensely tired. <laughs> I just worked a 14-hour shift. Um, feeling summery today. So I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Studio Blush in Giddy Gold as my highlighter. Obviously, this would not work if you are very fair and have pinky undertones. Sorry. <laughs> there are plenty of great highlighters. I would go for something a little more champagne and a little more pink as a highlighter if you um, have, you know, pinky undertones. So I'm going to take that on the same type of brush that I just used for contouring, but it's a little bit bigger. And right on the tip of that, get the product right on the tip. And then, see where the top of your cheekbone is? Place the color right there. And drag it down a little bit just to fade it out. See that? You can also do that down the center of the nose, just to make that the high point. And I forgot to contour my nose, so I'm going to do that really, really fast. <clears throat> okay, now I'm going to put on a blush. I'm going to be using another uh, NYX Cream blush, and this one is, where is it? This one is in Glow. I'm going to take a stippling brush like this, a little duo fiber one. I'm going to tap my product or tap it into the product, tap it on the back of my hand so there isn't too much, and just I like to place my blush behind the apples of the cheek, not on. So, see you're smiling, not here, but right here. So you, you don't look crazy. And all clowny and stuff. And all the way back to the hairline. And then that's basically it. If you want to use a setting spray, you're more than welcome to. I'm just going to put on some gloss really quick. This is Taunt by Urban Decay.
and that is a complete look at how I do my foundation. I hope that um, this helped some people, and thanks for watching. Bye.